Dr. Michael Rubenstein is credited for popularizing the fusion effect, where you take two different coins and you fuse them together and hand it to a spectator. He published his routines, he put it on DVDs, he even marketed it briefly uh, during his lectures. He's been doing this for around 40 years now, and we're proud to release his fusion coins. Let's take a look at his uh, formal close-up performance already in progress. And I thought maybe it might be time for a change. Speaking of change, do you have any in your pocket? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Mm. Ah, little coins, a variety here. You know, it's good that you got, I see quarters and nickels and pennies. And I see that you have the um, regular quarters and, and the state quarters too. And the newer state quarters are a little different than the older quarters. It's hard to tell, but they're made with different metals. You know, as it is, the clad coins, which are the coins that they made after the silver ones, all have the different metals, the copper and the nickel and the aluminum. Well, now they're adding tungsten to the state quarters. And although they look the same, you know, you can't really tell that, that much of a difference, they actually uh, are a little softer. In fact, they notice something else. They notice you have some different pennies here. In fact, this is one of the newer pennies right there. I think this is the, uh, the newest of all of them. And in fact, it says, yeah, 2005, so that's pretty new. I noticed that uh, the newer pennies also, even though they seem to be copper, they're made with different metals. That's why they look like they're a little bit of a different color when you look at a bunch of them. Mm. You can put those away because we're just going to use the quarter and the... Uh, penny. And I'm going to kind of put them together. And I notice something very interesting. And that's if I squeeze them together, because they're so soft, I could actually fuse them one into the other just by pushing that penny right in there. In fact, take a look at that. You can see what I'm talking about. It's hard to get them out, but you know, I am a magician and I can try. Okay. I'll tell you what, hold your hand palm up, because I'm going to basically hold this over your hand and I'm going to give it a little shake. If I shake it, it could actually cause that penny to actually fall right out of the coin, just like that. Wow. You're also going to learn a quick transposition by taking the penny and the quarter, putting both of them in your hand so you could show them there. Wait one second, the thumbs touch, and of course now the penny jumps to this hand, leaving you just a quarter in this hand. And of course it does have a fusion ending. Another quickie is having the two coins examined and then giving them a squeeze, a tight squeeze, and of course making them fuse together, creating an impossible object that's examinable. Of course, what makes fusion coins such a powerful effect for lay people is the impossible coin at the end. It's an impossible object that people love to examine. If you do this in a restaurant, a first person is going to look at it, hand it to his friend, it's going to go around the table, everybody looking at it, examining you, trying to figure out how is this possible. Tricks with impossible object endings are always the best.